The Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment or GLOBE program invites citizen scientists from around the world to participate in the Mosquito Habitat Photo Challenge. This challenge combines Mosquito Habitat Mapper and Land Cover, two of the GLOBE Observer app tools, to document mosquito breeding habitats with photos. GLOBE would like you to take photos of mosquito habitats in either natural or artificial containers. If mosquito larvae are present, you are encouraged to photograph them with a magnifier, which is optional. Then we'd like you to take photos of the land cover around the habitat location using the land cover tool. The photos submitted during this challenge will be used to create automated classification programs that can identify mosquito larvae and the environments they prefer. Such computer programs can help prevent outbreaks of mosquito-borne disease. This particular data challenge is different from any one that we have had before with Globe Observer, because this one, we have five science teams that have requested data that we are hoping to provide and be partners with them in their um, world, you know, cutting edge science research. So uh, Globe Observer is um, a tool which is funded by NASA. People wonder why NASA is interested in mosquitoes because you can't see mosquitoes from space. That's what people always ask me. But what we can see from space and see very well and moderate over, and monitor over time are those factors that will it, it cause mosquito populations to increase. If they have the right conditions, warm in most environments, high humidity, a precipitation variability. These are the things that we need to monitor from our um, remotely sensed, uh, remotely sensed from the space to understand what's happening on Earth. This is what we're doing. As a citizen scientist, you are making that connection between mosquitoes on the ground and the data we get from space. And we're doing that by using the Globe Observer app. And what we are presenting today is the, um, the way in which we are really going to get the best information that we need for the research that we're doing. And that is to, when we use the Mosquito Habitat Mapper to also take coincident land cover measurements, because what that does is it takes those little mosquitoes that we can't see from space and puts it in a landscape, which we can document on the ground. And then we connect that to the satellite data. So you can see there's a really beautiful thread that we are creating by collecting these different data points. And um, as I mentioned, there are five teams. One team is funded by the National Science Foundation, and they are actually creating um, an AI system to recognize both, uh, I'm sorry, adult mosquitoes and larvae. And they are also looking at the environments. And then in addition to that, they are going to be um, looking at the changes in land cover and looking at the pictures uh, which are being uploaded by the app. And that material is then going to be used to develop automated systems or artificial intelligence to identify those environments. And But to do this, we need thousands and thousands of photos of mosquitoes. We need thousands and thousands of photos of larvae because we want to train, validate and test the predictive models that are being created using machine learning or artificial intelligence. And so that is where all of us as globe observers come in.